All right, go ahead, guys. Uh, we'll start off with Jeff Drummond and use that race hands feature, and we'll get to you. Hey, Olivia, I'm wondering how, how much of an em, kind of uh, emphasis and practice has been the, you know, being physical in the post and trying to get yourself, you know, to the free throw line where you can be a pretty big weapon tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, um, I practice coach put a big emphasis on the bigs just like really he just want us to be get open and catch the ball because, uh, you know, a lot of times, I mean, it's on us too, not just the passer to make sure that we get the ball and then I mean, Getting position and then getting fouled a lot of times, I mean, definitely helps the team. So we worked on that a lot. And Spencer, I'll go to you and then uh, John Hale. Olivier, there was a couple games there where, you know, not much of an impact out of you, but these last two, it, you know, things have really picked up for you. What, what do you think has been the difference these last two games? I mean, for me, I mean, <clears throat> I think what happened is that I've, I mean, I, I just need to focus on fighting, fighting, you know, uh, competing, getting lost in, in, in the fight and competing with the team and just, you know, playing my game out there. Um, no pressure and just, I mean, being locked in and but having fun at the same time. Daniel, go ahead. Olivier, obviously you guys have found kind of a group to work at the end of games, the last two games, but but Cal just told us he needs fans to help support BJ a little bit. As teammates, what are you guys saying to him right now to keep him positive and keep his spirits up? Man, we're just telling him to stay, stay the course, you know. It's gonna it's it's coming. I mean, he's working, he's working hard, like harder than anybody else. He's in the gym. Um, I think for him it's it's a matter of time and, and I know it's it's coming for him. So we just we put confidence in him because we see every day what he can do at practice, and it, it's a matter of time, honestly. Larry Hot will go to you. I'll take Larry. Show me. Let me talk a little bit about the plays that Jacob Toppin makes for you, just how he goes about doing things on both ends of the court that might not jump out at you, but help you win games. I mean, JT is at the right spot at the right time every game. Uh, if you look at the Mississippi State, he had, I believe, a free throw rebound, uh, even at the end of the game, another rebound under the rim. I mean, he's he's always at the right spot at the right time. And then on defense, I mean, he takes pride guarding the, the best player out there. And I mean, he did an unbelievable job. He's, he's, he's doing the dirty work and it's been enough for us quite a lot. Thank you. Jerry Tipton. Yeah, Olivier, I wondered about uh, Dante. Coach talks about how he his, the threat from three with him opens up the court for you and other guys. Can you explain that a little bit? What, how, what a difference that makes? I mean, obviously, um, you know, he's a knockdown shooter. Uh, he showed it uh, last game and, and, and this game again, but it just makes the defense worried about him too. And it's, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. He, he opens the court for everybody. Drive, whether it's driving lanes, whether it's, it's room in the post for, for the bigs, for us, it changes the game. You know, it's, it, it makes it way more easy, um, when, way easier for us to just op operate and just be able to play our game and, and get to the line. And it just opens up the court a lot. It looked like to me he didn't uh, after that last game seven threes. I was thought maybe he'll just sort of search out shots, but he didn't, really didn't do that. I didn't think. What do you think about the uh, uh, let's say prudence he played with? I think he just um, you know Dante wants to do what's best for the team and, and what's best for the team for us is, is shooting threes. But then you know defense adapts and but. As a shooter, just being a shooter and just being out there without without even him having the ball because of the defense, it just opens up for us. But I think he still has to find a way to get these threes off and because he's so great of a shooter. And Spencer, we're going to you. Yeah, Olivier, Vanderbilt's, uh, I know you were already fouled out of the game, but Vanderbilt's attempts to, to tie it at the very end, especially that last one, seemed like it bounced around forever. What was going through your mind at that moment? Man, I was, I mean, it was just, it was just like, at that point it was, please, like, 
let us let us win. Don't go in. And it was we fought through. We 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 stayed a course. We believe Dave John hit a unbelievable shot at the end. I mean, great execution, great rebound by Isaiah. We I mean, we fought, so I thought that we deserved to win. And and it was stressful, you know, being out, out and not being able to control on the court, but they did a great job. Anything else, guys? All right, we'll get Davey out in here for you in just a moment. All right, guys, we got Davion Mitz here for you, Kent Spencer. Um, unless I didn't, that, did you have your hand raised though? I mean, I, I mean, I can fire one what fire one out. Go ahead, <laughs> Davion. Just just take us through that last play when when Devin hit you in the corner and just kind of your your feelings when that thing dropped. Oh, that, that felt amazing. Um, coach was drawing it up, and I, I knew where he had placed me. I knew that it would be open. Um, and like Devin put it right on the money and it was just bottoms. Like it, it felt amazing. So, uh, especially, I right after it, I vividly remember like missing one of my game winning threes, uh, at Creighton and, uh, just to hit one in the exact same spot, uh, years later, of course, I mean, that, that just felt amazing. Gary Tipton, go to you and Larry. Yeah, I wonder, Davion, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Ken Pomeroy said uh, earlier in the week that you guys were the unluckiest team in the country with things that happened. And I wonder what you thought when uh, Vandy took that, that last three that bounced around on the top of the basket. It looked like it might go in. Uh, so you said when they shot it? Yeah, that last one where it bounced off the rim a couple of times. Oh, yeah, my heart was dropping. I mean, they, they kind of experienced what we were going through for a while. I mean, we call it, coach calls it buzzer luck. And that's, I mean, that's what they had. They had a good look, especially with the ball fake. And then, um, you know, they got they got the rebound and kicked it back out. And I mean, just the fact that he, it hit like every part of the rim. And it, me and Dev were just, if you look at the film again, we were just staring and shocked. Like, man, it was close, but <laughs> yeah, thank God it went our way. All right, well, Larry, we'll go to you and then Jeff Drummond. Yeah, David, could you talk about just the things that Jacob Toppin does for you guys, including that screen that got you open for that last shot? Yeah, I mean, yeah, without that screen, there was no shot. I mean, he, the execution on that play was just perfect. Like, everyone executed from, you know, the speed, the timing, and everything. But besides that, I mean, Jacob was – he was one of the reasons that we were in that game. I mean, he – especially me and Devin picking up those fouls. And he, he wasn't prepared at all to guard uh, Pippen. And he, you know, I mean, it just shows his like resilience and his, his focus that he had this week to look and see. Like he, we didn't have to tell him many times, you know, what we were doing on his ball screens and how to be aggressive, how to guard him. I mean, he just fought, and that that's what we need out of Jacob. That's what he's really good at. So, I mean, he he was huge uh, today in the win for us. Thanks. Jeff Drummond, we'll go to you then, Kyle Tucker. Yeah, uh, Davey, I was wondering. Uh, Olivier was quite a weapon at the free throw line and drawing those fouls in the post tonight. He hasn't really been able to take advantage of that much so far this season. Have you guys changed anything or, or put a bigger emphasis on, on, on trying to get him the ball in that spot? Yeah, I mean, certain schemes, um, we, you know, we try to do things uh, with the bigs a little bit differently each game, but we understand that in order for us to win, we got to get let Olivier get some touches on the block, uh, high post areas. So, I mean, it's, for, for him, like like you say, he had a really huge game, picked up a lot of free throws for us. I mean, he, he's a big guy, so sometimes when he can get it, get the defender on his back, um, he's able to, you know, do a lot of things and be crafty. So um, it really opens up our offense when he gets it in those areas. Kyle Tucker, you, then John, after that. Yeah, 
Davion, you were talking about, you know, the luck, whether it be the statistical luck that you guys are statistically the unluckiest team or just anecdotally, you know, you see those, those last second shots not go down or this or that go wrong. How significant has it been, even if some of these haven't been perfect, to, to, to have two games in a row now where it, where it went right for you in the end, certainly in the, in the end result, and just, just to start to reboot this team's self-confidence? Yeah, <clears throat> like, you know, like, I, I don't feel like I played my best game today, but, like, just the fact that, like, a win is a win in my mind. Like, nothing, it doesn't matter, like, what I do out there. Just walking away from the game, especially what we've been through this season, like, I don't care if it's a middle school team. A win is a win. We're happy about it. And we're just going to keep progressing, keep going. And it's huge for our confidence. Like, everything we can take, we want. Um, we're super desperate, and we're going to go out there and play like it. We're going to fight to the end. And, you know, like I said, he went, win or loss, we're still figuring it out. We're going to do the same things, watch the film, keep getting better, keep growing. And, you know, I, it's, it's trending. We're going in the right direction. I'm loving it. Go ahead, John. Davion is an older guy who's been through a lot of ups and downs in his career. What are your message to BJ right now as you try to get him going a little bit and get his confidence up? Just keep doing the same things. Like, BJ's always in the gym. I mean, that's the part that people don't see. Um, we understand, I mean, maybe he's not doing the best. I mean, but he's, he's still a freshman. He's still growing. But, like, BJ's in the gym all the time. And, like, it, it, eventually it pays off. Like, it, it always pays off, but, you know, and so – he just keep doing the same thing, keep staying with the coaches. And, you know, it's, it's going to fall his way soon. And right now all you can do is be patient with this game. Jerry, Tiffany, we'll come back to you. Yeah, Davion, if I heard you right, you said when you made that shot from the corner there at the end, uh, you thought fairly quickly about a shot you've missed at Creighton. I'm wondering who it was against. Can you describe, you know, I wonder what about that shot brought it to mind. Yeah, it was uh, it was versus Xavier uh, my junior year, um, second half of the game. I think we're right we're about to go into overtime if I would have made the shot, and um, you know, coach kind of drew up a play and I looped around. You know, I was wide open in the corner. I mean, I could have took three steps. No one was around me, and you know, I, I shot it and it felt good coming off my hands, but it was short in the same exact spot in that corner over there. And, um, and we were taking it out under our basket. So, you know, I mean, I shot it and it, it was crazy because it came off short and it, uh, it bounced back to me. And the clock was obvious, obviously out, but I shot it again and it hit the bottom. It was like swish and it was just, like, it was just haunting me because I knew like I wanted that back. And I went to the gym that night and shot, I don't know how many, a couple hundred. And I, I just knew when I got this opportunity again, didn't know where it would be at, but I was gonna hit that corner three. And, Thank God it happened today. We needed it. Help my confidence in the teams a lot. You shot a couple hundred from that spot from the left corner after yeah. that game. Yep, yep, yep. On the after the flight home. Thanks.